Hey, what's up guys? We're going to take a moment here to kind of go over how to install seven days to die uh, mod launcher, the newest one, uh, as well as the uh, SMX and ZMX mods. Uh, so that way you can play on the uh, servers that will be spinning up. So first things first, obviously, make sure that you have seven days to die installed through Steam. All right. Go out to uh, 7D2DModLauncher.org. And there will be a link in the description for that. And you're going to click on the download for your platform, Windows in this case. Once that's downloaded, you can open up your file explorer. And there's the launcher. I've already installed, so I'm not going to actually do that. Once it's installed, um, this is what the mod launcher looks like when it opens. First thing you'll, that you'll probably want to do is go into your settings and change your default folder. Again, I've already done this. It will be set to C uh, slash 7D2D. You can change it to whatever you like. You can also leave it. Um, but this is where your mods will end up being installed. Once you've done that, you hit save. And now we're going to uh, create a game copy. This is going to copy our installed version from Steam. So in my, this case, since this is for SMX, I'm going to call it SMX. We don't have to put anything in a download link. And we hit confirm. So now we have the SMX copy and you'll see here it's looking at my steam uh, my steam install but I don't want to I don't want to mess with my steam install I want to have a separate version and so I'm going to go over here to clone and when I click on that this process will copy the selected game into the mods folder which is your default folder after the process is complete, the mod will use the local copy, not your Steam copy. So the copy that gets made here from the clone in your default folder that we just set. So we'll hit confirm. And we'll wait for the copy to finish. All right, now that the uh, copy has been made, you'll notice... In the drop down box, we have our default folder location and our Steam location. We've got the, the default folder location checked. That's what we want. And now, if we were to launch this, uh, it would launch seven days to die. Uh, but we don't have any mods yet. And we want to go over here to manage modlets for this mod. And here we can. Uh, we can show all of the available online mods, which is, you know, various small mods uh, up to and including overhaul mods. But we, uh, this is not what we want to do. For SMX, we want to manage external mods because the, the mods that we have here are not associated with the mod launcher. So... When you click on that, it says here external modlets are mods that you have downloaded from other sources like Nexus mods or Seven Days to Die mods, which is where the SMX mods come from. In this screen, you can add the external modlets to the mod launcher's local repo. So we want to open the modlet folder, which as you can see is currently empty. And then we want to grab the mods folder that has all of the mods that we want to install. And we're just going to highlight them all and drag and copy to the modlets. Now that that's done, we refresh the list and we can see that they're all there now. And we will process modlets. This process does not take very long, as you can see. 
and that's it. Now we'll press close. And then we can show downloaded modlets, which is the ones that we just added. So now we will just add to current mod for all of these. And that's it. Right up in the top corner here where it says close, we click that. Now you'll see. All of the mods are listed. And this is in the new mods, not, not our vanilla install. So now when we hit play, it's going to load seven days to die with the SMX mods. And we know that this is SMX other than the custom uh, menu here, but down at the bottom here, SMX core stable version. So that's it. That is all you need to do to install the mods for... Uh, within the new seven days to die mod launcher v5 which is what is required um, when running the full release uh, 1.0 or in as of today uh, february 18th it is uh, version 1.3 is the current seven days to die version i hope that this video has helped out and if it has, uh, hit that like button, make sure you guys subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more videos like this, uh, more, more tutorials on modding games. Um, and maybe we're going to do, uh, an overhaul mod, uh, instructional video next for seven days to die. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.